Shalom brothers and sisters. So <coughs> this next one, it upsets me. But uh, at the same time, I know that the church is growing and alive and well. Church conquered. Another symbolic victory for Islam in the United Kingdom. In the heart of Blackburn, the most recent embodiment of this undeniable conquest takes shape as a 150-year-old church is turned into a mosque. In a historic shift, the United Kingdom is witnessing the transformation of its Christian identity as Islam emerges as the fastest growing religion in post-Christian Europe. The latest evidence of this phenomenon is seen in the proliferation of mosques housed in former churches, a visible reflection of the changing religious landscape. Now, please bear note that they do that on purpose so that you can see that they have won. For, for them, it's a war. According to the 2021 census, England and Wales have become minority Christian countries, marking the first time in history that fewer than half the population identify as Christian. The census revealed a striking decline of 5.5 million people describing themselves as Christian, while the number of individuals identifying as Muslim rose by 1.2 million, reaching 3.9 million. The surge in the Muslim population represents a 43% increase, while Christianity has witnessed a decline of 17%. Over the past few decades, over 10,000 churches have closed in Britain alone. Think about that for a second. In 2012, it was reported that 8,000 Methodist churches and 1,700 Anglican churches closed since 1960. In stark contrast, the number of official mosques in Britain has exceeded 1,700 with many converted from former churches. And additionally, there are approximately 2,000 Muslim prayer halls and countless unofficial mosques scattered throughout the country. So a couple of things here. So again, like I said, as sad as that article is, I know that the Church of God is alive and well and growing stronger by the day. In fact, no matter how much we're persecuted or attacked, we rise to the challenge and we stand and shine our lights. The darkness is getting more and more leeway and allowed more and more uh, ability to run and show themselves. But it is for their destruction at the end of the day. Um, the fact that they use churches and turn them into mosques is to show that they've conquered that religion or that God. And that is not the case. God shall not be mocked at all. It is really sad that with so many churches available, they'd rather shut them down or turn them over to Islam to be used as mosques than actually find men of God to stand in and start preaching in those areas that desperately need the word of God and his message in a time as dark as right now. But again, this is all prophetic convergence. This is all what's supposed to happen in the end of days. Does it have to be fun? No. Does it have to be anything we like? Absolutely not. We can be horrified at the situation playing out in front of us. Yet, we know that our Redeemer lives, as Job said, and He will stand at last on the earth in the end. But God. But God. He is in control. Especially when it seems like He's not. Because we're looking from human perspective. The King is the king and not charlie boy and his fake little masquerade the king of kings god of creation keep looking up keep shining your light no matter how many churches they turn into mosques and how much they want to try and crush us we stand for the only true god and true light in this world have an amazing day shalom